Hi there. So tonight is John Stewart's biannual autism charity TV show, Night of Too Many Stars. And that got me thinking about my autism and what I've learned about it. Uh, my official diagnosis is Asperger's syndrome. You know, uh, what's called uh, high-functioning uh, autism. I, I, I don't really like the uh, term high functioning makes it sounds like I'm working better than you know, people with low functioning autism uh, or that I'm not uh, dependent on other people uh, which I am I, I am a lot uh, I like the words mild and severe, better. I have a mild case of autism, obviously. But, but I guess now it doesn't really matter because Asperger's syndrome, as well as a bunch of other uh, uh, the uh, a bunch of other mental disorders have been have been grouped together uh, under one umbrella diagnosis called autism spectrum disorder. Uh, this happened soon after I got my diagnosis. I should say that just because I have autism doesn't mean that. Uh, I'm an expert at it. Uh, I've I've learned more after I've been diagnosed than I did before. A lot more. So just to get this right, uh, autism spectrum disorder is a general term for a group of complex disorders of brain development. So you know, autism just isn't one thing. It's a bunch of different things going on in people's minds. And also, uh, I know two cases of autism are exactly the same two people can be diagnosed with the, with the, the same same uh, type of autism but they could have completely different different uh, behaviors and symptoms so so it really depends a lot on the person so the first time I suspected that I had autism was when I just typed autism into uh, the dictionary on Mac computers. And the definition came up as a mental condition uh, characterized by difficulty in communicating and forming relationships with other people. Uh, uh, the first definition, I'm like, and I'm like, uh, wow, that sounds a lot like me. And then the second definition is a mental condition in which fantasy dominates over reality. And then I was like, wow, that is exactly like me. Some of the behaviors associated with Asperger's is are limited or inappropriate social interactions. Yeah, I would say I have very limited social interactions. Inappropriate. And uh, I'm. I would say I know 
what's inappropriate and I don't do it. Uh, but I'm just trying to figure out what I, what would be the best thing to do and, 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 uh, what, what I should say or do one-sided conversations. Yeah, 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 that, that happens with me, but I, I don't mean to. To uh, make it that way, it just happens. Like I won't often ask questions, uh, questions for the other person. They'll just end up asking me the questions, and my answers for those the questions that I get asked will usually be very short. I I need to elaborate more on my answers. I'm reading this off of my computer. So, so and, oh, and also awkward moments and mannerisms. Yep, yep, definitely. Definitely, I, I do have that a lot. And... As I'm editing these videos, I'm noticing that I tend to lick my lips a lot. I go like that, and, and I didn't even notice I was doing it. So that that's a, another awkward mannerism I have. Uh, and then we have robotic or repetitive speech. Yeah, yeah. You, you can probably tell just by watching these videos. I'm a slow talker, and part part of the reason is because I'm trying to get my thoughts out of my head. I know what I want to say, but I'm just trying to find the words to to uh, I express express myself, trying to put my thoughts uh, in the correct order, and uh, trying to find the right words to say what I'm thinking. And uh, I also have some uh, s speech difficulties, like uh, with my R's. I sometimes I have trouble saying words that that have that that uh, start with R or have a R sound in them, and and also words that that have th in them. I I did get help in school with that, but even today. It can be difficult for me, especially the uh, the word free, three, like number three. I I hate saying that word just because I have such a hard time with it. So I'll try to avoid saying it. Like I'll say third, which is also kind of hard for me. Uh, and lack of eye contact uh, during conversation. Yeah, yeah. Even now, I, I'm i having trouble staring at the camera for very long. And I, all, all my life, I've, I have had trouble with eye contact. As you can see now, most of the time I'll just stare around their eyes, like uh, at their face or mouth or nose, maybe maybe their ear, but 
I won't stare at that uh, too long because then they might uh, comment on me staring at, at at whatever it is I'm staring at. So I won't won't stare too long. I'll keep my eyes moving. Let's see challenges with nonverbal communications, gestures, facial expressions, things, etc. Uh huh. Yeah, I have trouble with the the more subtle gestures and facial expressions. I don't always pick up on those. Just as I either won't see them or I don't I don't understand them. Yeah, I have a hard time showing emotions. Period. Whether in my facial expression or in my voice, and the volume of my voice doesn't often change. I, you know, I don't scream or yell at all, really, only in rare situations. Well, one communication autistic people ha usually have difficulty with are uh, figures of speech. They'll take them literally for me. I can understand figures of speech, but I don't get them. Like, like I know what they're saying, but I just don't know why uh, uh, the saying is the way it is. Like, like uh, it, it's raining cats. It, like it, it's raining cats and dogs. I get that it's raining really hard outside. I don't know why you use cats and dogs. What what, what do cats and dogs have to do with rain? Should, uh, should be like it, it's, it's raining buckets outside or something like that or, and uh another one have your cake and eat it too you know the, the only thing you can do with a cake is eat it if, if you can't eat it what are you supposed to do with it i, I know they're trying to say like a person is trying to have it both ways and they can't but uh, there's got to be a better way to say that in a figure of speech. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, person is trying to buy a gift and keep it too. That, that makes more sense than eating cake. Sarcasm is, is another, another big thing. Autistic people don't understand I, I can understand it but I it has to be really obvious uh, otherwise I'll be like like a, wait is that sarcasm because it could be real I can't believe and no one's ever proposed to you. Okay, so that sounded really sincere. Like, you really can't believe it, which is probably how you really feel. You're like, wow, you're beautiful, you're so successful, you're so sweet and funny, and you have a great body. But what I want you to do is act like I'm not all of those things. Wow, I can't believe no one's proposed to you yet. Excellent, that was great. High five, that was great. Like, for example, when I first heard Stephen Colbert, uh, I thought he was a right-wing wacko. I didn't realize he was playing a, a character. One Christmas, uh, one of my aunts gave me uh, his book, 
this book right here. This one. She gave it to me for Christmas, and uh, all throughout reading it, um, I was like, okay, that's a joke. That makes sense, but uh, it doesn't. And, and that is a good arg argument for the other side of the conversation, not Stephen Colbert's. So it wasn't until uh, I, I think I, I think I heard someone say in a TV interview or I saw Stephen Colbert out of character in a TV interview uh, say that he's just playing a character. Uh, then, then I was actually able to fully enjoy his, uh, his, his comedy, which, which, which I actually re really like. He's, he's a really good, good comedian. He's really funny. So, so is John Stewart. And, uh, one other thing, you know, was his, his title. I'm a, I am America, and so can you. I do not get that. I, I don't get it at all. Shouldn't, shouldn't it be, I am America, and you can be too? I just. I don't get it. Speaking of books, the first book I read after I was diagnosed uh, was Temple uh, Grandin's Thinking in Pictures book. And that is exactly what I do. You know, I, I think in pictures and in video uh, in her book, which was written some time ago, she writes that her mind is like a VHS tape and it's playing on TV, but you, you can't stop it. And, and it's like on a loop, just keep keeps going and going. And that does happen to me sometimes. I'll just get something in my head and I can't stop thinking about it. Uh, I'll try to, but, but it, it won't stop until it, it comes to an end. But sometimes when I'm trying to go to sleep, I'll have something in my head and it will just keep me up. I, I can't stop thinking about it and my mind would just won't stop so I can go to sleep. Lately I've actually found that if I write it down, write what's ever in my mind down on paper, uh, then then I actually f stop thinking about it and sometimes forget about it. So writing down what's ever on my mind helps me. It's funny, now that I've learned the behaviors and the symptoms of autism, I suspect that some of my friends from school were also were also autistic and e even even a parent of my friend I think they had autism or, or they have autism and you know, as I said in my past video I, I was very quiet as a child 
extremely quiet and then sometimes uh, uh, I would be told stories about something that happened uh, when I was there like I was at the event and someone was telling me what happened and they just you know uh, forgot or didn't realize I was there. So, and also, uh, this weird thing has happened lately where people think I was somewhere where I wasn't. Like, uh, not too long ago, I, I, uh, I, ran into someone I went to school with and and she thought that I was in orchestra and I I never was I not not an orchestra or band and she, she seemed so sure that that I was was that I was an orchestra. She she was an orchestra. I, I know that, but I never was. So it, it, I, I don't know. People just don't seem to know exactly where I am uh, uh, throughout throughout life, which which yeah. I, I don't blame them. I I probably wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't know either if, if I was them. Something that happens when I'm talking to people, uh, it would be like a little misunderstanding. Like I'll say something and then they'll think that I was talking about some something else. Or, or, or uh, I'll uh, think that they meant something else when when uh, they said this, and then and that it, it's yeah you know, a little awkward. Uh, usually it's just not not a big deal and although I, I do have this thing where I'm afraid to correct people even when I know I'm right it, it's I, 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 I don't know why I do it it's, it's, it's just really hard for me to correct people or or to say no to people like like I feel bad if when I do say no so right now I'm just learning whatever I can about autism and Asperger's and anything re related and and that I am getting some help I am seeing seeing a therapist uh, to to help me out with like my you know, and anxiety and and well, m mostly for my anxiety I guess and also um uh, a part of this this uh, group for uh, autistic autistic uh, young adults, which which uh, was formed to improve the lives of autistic in, uh, individuals uh, by providing social 
opportunities. And in so far, they, it has helped both things. I, I just keep, I just have to keep doing more, more of it. And, and just, just keep, keep moving forward. So until next video, uh, goodbye.